What's going on, everybody? PSA reveal. This is a bulk order. Um, four weeks from the time that it arrived till I got it back. Just at four weeks. I think four weeks would have been the date of arrival was the 27th of April. I'd have to pull my spreadsheet up. I don't have it in front of me. But four weeks for bulk orders, $19 a card. I think, from what I remember, all these cards were in that collection I picked up. They did pretty well. So really, like I said, for this stuff here, I didn't go out and buy them at like raw prices. I bought this all in a big collection, so I have a lot of room on to this stuff. Did okay. Did okay. Not in any specific order. If it's an 8 or a 9, it's going to DC Sports tomorrow. So by the time this video pops, it'll already be on its way. 10s I'm holding. Everybody knows June 3rd I'm set up. i um, been picking up a lot of cards. You guys probably see a lot of it on in, uh, Discord. But the 10s I'm keeping. I'm going to switch some stuff out in the store tonight. ExtremeCardBreaks.com. So be on the lookout for that stuff. The website probably won't get redone till I'm not going to lie, till the end of the year. Because the guy that's doing my coding piece to it is an uh, old friend of mine in the Army. And... Uh, He's doing it free in his free time. I might be like, you know, a little bit of work this week, none for like three weeks, and all of a sudden he does a whole ton of work. So you guys won't see the changes on to it. Uh, probably till about the end of the year, honestly. I told him he has all the time in the world because he's helping me out. And, you know, he's not taking any money for it, so I do appreciate that. But, uh, so, all the cards for sale will just be listed on any deals um, on the homepage. So if you guys are ever interested. All right. Let's take a look. We'll do football first. I did separate them by sport. Do football first. This one here, Kai, was hoping for the nine. But Topps Chrome, Joe Montana. Hurt. There we go. This is the golden anniversary uh, greats. Came back in eight. Is what it is on to. You can't win them all. I knew there was a little bit of whiting here. I don't know what really got me on the eight. Surface was pretty clean when I looked at it, but. Hey, sometimes, even me, I miss stuff, guys. I know a lot of people always think that I do real well on this stuff and that, you know, I'm like, I don't know, real good at grading. I'm really not. I just look at a lot of cards and I eliminate a lot. Well, there's a lot of gray area of setting stuff in. Other people would. I don't. All right, Jaseki XRC from Select. Get back a nine. Kind of bummed on that. I kind of figured the centering left and right was going to get me mostly onto it. But, hey, we keep going. This one, I knew it was going to be a 9 as well, too. The Green Scope Prism. These were numbered out of 99. And I know there's some set builders out there onto this. So that's the only reason why I grade it. So some set builder for Big Ben will have a chance to either upgrade or add to their collection. Ryan Shazier, 9. This is the rookie neon green yellow prism. I mean, these were our couple dollar cards. Nine ain't gonna get me anything crazy on to it. But I tell you now, I know a lot of people always ask. My tens definitely way overpaid for the order, so I'm always good with whatever I get on these little things. Trifecta silver prism. This is Tom Brady, Sony Michelle, Rob Gronkowski nine. And actually, I didn't set these up by nines or tens. It's just the way I actually they're coming out now. Pen on the Mojo Select Ryan Shazier, rookie. This is pretty cool. These were not serial numbered at all. But really happy onto this. I believe this was a pop one. I believe. I believe. Jaseki, rookie, green crystals, PSA 10. Really good card here. Numbered, as you can see, out of 15 in a PSA 10. Stafford, red, white, and blue from 14 Prism. I love this year of football's Prism just the way they did it, especially when they first started playing with all the little twists and colors, but PSA 10 on it. Um, Pop, I believe, one on this, too. I have no idea if some of the values on to it. I just put it rough what I think the very bottom may go for. But overall, still happy with the stuff. This here really shocked me the most. It is a PSA 10 Stanton Update rookie on to it. The issue with this here was these were like $40 cards. They've already dipped to 20 So Dippin' Daniel got me there. Dippin' Daniel got me there. Uh, Lindor update. I do have a 10 this. I thought maybe I could squeak another one. Came back a 9. These sell for like $21 to $23 and a 9. Last I looked, 
So again, pretty much going to get my grading feedback out of it. Oh, 18 update Otani. Everybody's always asking me for Otani stuff, so I graded some. Did very well. PSA 10 on to the 18 update. Got a 9 on the update with uh, Ichiro. This is out of update as well, too. Sorry, there we go. But in return, I did mail four of them. Three tens. Three tens on to them. I think these were like $40, $50 cards offhand as a 10. Nothing crazy. I mean, we're not in COVID era where these were probably selling for $500 as a 10. Uh, the Trout and Otani Upton and the golf cart came back at 10. I think this one was like 50 to 60 tops. I want to say more towards the 50. 19 tops Chrome Cup rookie Otani batting PSA 10. 19 tops Cup pitching Otani 10. And then finally, we ended off with two Tatis Chromes PSA 10 them. I can't remember. I think these are like 45 a piece. So overall, there's money to be made on this. It's not something that was huge profit. A lot of this stuff is just because I'm filling up showcases for shows right now for the summer. I have some of the lower end stuff that people are looking for out there. Uh, probably my biggest thing offhand with it. But pretty cool. I was really shocked with the Jaseki and the Mojo Shazier the most out of it all. I'm just trying to find. There was one more I didn't have cased in here somewhere. and It's hiding from me. There it is for DC land. So as you guys can see, I mean, pretty good gem rate overall. That's the gem rate. That was a non-gem rate. So pretty much, I don't know, was that about s at least around 70%. Can't complain at all. So really one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so not bad overall. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. A little bit of show and tell. I got another one that's in assembly right now. Um, hopefully, maybe by the end of next week it's back. I'm not too sure with the holiday how they're going to be working out there. This was odd. This actually, the grades popped on a Sunday night when they charged my card. I think that's due to the Dallas card show. Um, try it with everything they had going on there, trying to catch up on to it. But that's really about it, guys. Stay tuned. There's going to be a... Nice, nice mail day video coming up. Uh, we'll have another PSA video. I think I'm going to go to Lexington on Saturday just for footage. I don't know how much I'm going to buy because I've been really picking apart a lot of people on whatnot. And I know I shouldn't say that because I feel bad, but picking up cards for like 50 or 60% off, saying so, they're graded. A lot of stuff's graded or very low numbered, and I know they don't really grade a whole lot. So be on the lookout for that video coming up too next. But other than that, guys, I am out. You guys, stay safe out there. If I don't come live this weekend uh, for Memorial Day, I may just do it depending on how I feel. But other than that, I am out. Take care.